Hey, what's up guys? I'm Perry Tornum. Welcome back to Jagged Alliance 3. As we're going to be continuing this mission here to take the fort. And uh, we'll have to try and see if we can't keep Pierre alive. Uh, it might be a little bit difficult to do. We'll see exactly how uh, that is possible. I'm, I'm hoping that if we just kill all the other people who will give in here. Now, before we end our turn and move on to the enemy turn, I did want to show something that I didn't know about. Uh, that several people mentioned in the comments. And that is if we click on this here, which I, I did click on this, and then I just saw, it, to me, this looked like maybe the news website or something. Uh, I didn't know that this is actually where you create your own character, so kind of like the leader uh, of your mercenaries, and it works a little bit different than the other mercenaries. And so we will be doing that in today's episode if we finish this mission. Uh, if we don't finish the mission in this episode, then we'll do it in the next one. Uh, but yeah, I had no idea that you could... You could even do that. And so it's, it's interesting the way they do it. Oh, this guy did move and thus got himself killed. That's Piers guard there. Also, we're able to shoot that guy, although we didn't, we didn't hit him. All right, so got to keep here alive and he is on the battlefield now. Got this guy to deal with and then the two that are in the building. It looks like he missed Grunty. So we could shoot him from there. I'm a little worried about what the sniper's gonna do. He go. He went after uh, Barry. That's interesting. All right. So he did that one move. And so we need to get Barry outside of his field of view where he can't hit him. Yes. So what we should do is let's go ahead and stand up with her. Or not stand up. We'll go into the into our squat. And then I guess we're taking a knee here. And then see if we can't take him out. Uh, using all of our AP. Maybe not take him out, but at least do a lot of damage to him. Yeah, we'll use all 10 AP here for a torso shot with the, with the uh, dual shot and see if we hit him with at least one of those. Hmm, that's interesting. I only saw her shoot once. Did the other one just go so far out of range there? Yeah, we might be too far away. All right, so we're gonna have to move up closer. I was hoping that that would be good enough, but clearly it is not. So uh, next turn, we'll move over here. Obviously putting her in a more exposed position. Now with him, again, I think it would be in our best interest to go ahead and move him outside of the field of view of the sniper. Let's see, how do we want to do this? I don't know if there's anywhere we can move and actually be able to fire any on anybody because of the truck here blocking everything. So what we're gonna do is let's get ourselves out of his range by moving here. And then something that I should have done before the battle kicked up is I forgot that we had gotten ammunition for his AK. So this will allow us to go ahead and switch over to it and reload. That's one of that AP. And is that everything he's got? He's got two AP left, but there's really not much else to be done about that. So let's go ahead and just leave him there. And, and that should protect him because he's outside of the, the snipers view all right so there's nobody for her to fire on but we're gonna keep her there because again if they if they come over here then we've seen that that generally results in their death so let's see if hitman can kill this guard here and we're gonna use all the ap to get a headshot and hopefully kill him in one hit there we go that's why they call me hitman ace so up here and this goon or, or grenader actually are the only two that are left in this area. There's still this guy over here. He's hiding in the brush there. Then you got these two over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Grunty dealing with this character. So we're gonna try and just get up close. We could try and fire from here, but let's just make sure we hit him. And we're gonna go for the, the headshot because we're so close. Oh wow, what happened there? That was terrible, guys. I don't even know what happened there. All right, well, it's what it is. Uh, Livewire is the only one who hasn't fired. Okay, so we can try and hit this sniper up here. Yeah, because we're not going to hit that person. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere. You can move a little bit closer. Yeah, you could move a little bit closer. Let me take a look and see what our chances of hitting this guy. She's saying it's ridiculous, the idea that she'd be able to hit him. Okay. 
So, I mean, you can zoom in and use the 7 AP. Maybe you hit, but it's outside the range, which is what I think the main issue here is. And we can move her a little bit closer. I don't think that's going to make a huge difference. But yeah, let's just zoom all the way in. We're just trying to get this sniper killed. We might just have to, like, go up there and kill him. I don't know. Yeah, nobody can seem to hit from here. So overall, an extremely ineffective turn here. Essentially just Hitman getting a headshot and that was it. And that person's gonna get themselves close to killed. Oh, she got to fire on him again. So he's dead now. We have to hope that here doesn't come over here. In fact, there's nobody else here to kill. It's best to get her off. Hey, how do you, I'm just not entirely sure how you're supposed to deal with this guy. Without killing him. I wonder if like certain melee weapons, like if you had a bat or something, if that might allow you to knock him out instead of killing him. Not entirely sure. So yeah, he fired on Barry and wasn't able to hit him. Alright, so let's go and start with Livewire. And we're gonna have her let me see how can she reach over there? Hmm. I said live wire, I meant Fox. All right, well, we don't want to use too much AP. I just have to move really slowly to get her over there. You could do the one, just one movement. I guess if you just moved over there and had her lay down and then do the next. I'll yeah, that's what best. we'll do. She might not even have the AP to lay down. She won't. So I assume that she's going to get shot at next turn. So we're just going to get these characters moving up. Although he has a rifle. So if anybody was going to fire at him, it should be Barry. So he'll fire from here so that we're keeping fire on him. Yeah, he's saying he's not going to hit him. I just use all our AP and shoot at the torso. Hey, he actually killed him. Alright, that worked out well. So now the question is how to deal with Pierre. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how you deal with him if you're trying not to kill him. Please don't shoot me! Please don't shoot me! Let's move her over here. But we can't just let him like shoot all of our people. Hitman Hennessy. So let's go ahead and get Hitman moving. Although, can we hit anybody from here? We can't hit that guy. Easy so let's see. No, actually. Yeah, I think that is the best way to do this, is to have him fire. Although we need to move. So maybe here. I don't know if that leaves us with the next uh, enough AP to fire, hopefully. Good yeah, job, just enough. Ace. So we're just going to go for the torso shot and kill him. We got this and hopefully, That's it's going to be harder for Pierre to hit him where he's moved to. And then that allows Grunty to go ahead and move to go towards the building here. I assume Pierre would probably shoot at him, actually. Alright, so you really don't need her on the gun anymore. Yeah, there's really no reason to have her here. Hmm. Yeah, she can only shoot at him. She should probably just go down then. Yep. Go okay. here. Now let's just hope that he misses us if he fires on her. But yeah, keeping this guy alive is going to be problematic, I feel. Oh, she's standing. Okay. Nothing to be done about that now. We used all the AP. Alright, so I think that's everybody's turn. But yeah, I think keeping him alive is going to put all of our people at risk. Yeah, he's gonna shoot Livewire here. Livewire does not have a lot of health. I'm just hoping that you kill everybody else and then he gives in. He gives up. And so we can try and focus our fire on them. Yeah, that wasn't too bad of a turn. Yeah, it could have been much worse. 
Can we hit anybody from here? We should be able to hit this guy, I think. Okay, so let's go after this guy. Does he have a pistol? Oh, he's got a pistol. Hmm. So it'd probably be better to shoot this guy instead. Someone is gonna have a bad day. And then use all the AP. There we go. So he didn't die. But yeah, we shot at him since he's got the rifle. Waiting for orders. And then with this guy, let's go ahead and have Take him position. shoot at the closer enemy. I can tell this will be good. The hairs on my toes are and we'll just use all the AP here to go for the headshot and try and kill him. There we go. So there's just a few enemies left. We know the sniper's in the building still. He brings a whole lot more than sauerkraut and sausage to the team. And then there's still this guy here that we got to deal with. Okay, so, hmm. Still going to try and keep... I'm going to keep him alive if I can, guys. But let's move Livewire out of there. And move her over here instead. Although it says that he can shoot at her from there. So you know what? Let's go here right, instead. Yeah, we'll see how safe that ends up being. Alright, and then Barry, if you go here, you won't be able to fire on anybody. And if you go there, you won't have enough AP to fire either. And it takes six to throw the grenade. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go here. As of this moment. Can we throw... A grenade over here and just kill this guy just to get it done with. I know he's almost dead. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth doing using this explosive for this. Let me see if anybody else can get him killed first before we go using that explosive. Because yeah, uh, we still have some action points that we can use to attack uh, to attack that guy. Although, it doesn't look like she can go anywhere and actually fire at him, unfortunately. I can always put her back up here. She can't fire on him from here, though. Okay. So she can't do it. I see. Well, yeah, yeah. what we can do, we can still fire on him. We just can't kill him. Yeah, she has no sight on him. So what we could just do is go ahead and put her in the overwatch. And so when he comes around this corner, if he comes around that corner, then we'll fire on him. Which I assume he will, because what else is he going to do? Uh, she can fire from here, but it's kind of irrelevant because she, uh, she won't be able to do it because she doesn't have any AP remaining. You don't want to put her without any cover. So I should probably just put her right here. Yeah, we'll put her right there. You just like watching me walk. And yeah, she's already in the squat. So what we could do is go ahead and have her lay down to try and reduce the chance that she'll take some damage. How can I assist? So yeah, I think we're just gonna throw the grenade, just get rid of this guy. Although, you got so many people who can do it next turn. Yeah, let's just wait. I think we're just going to have them wait, guys. And what you can do is just set them on overwatch. So if that guy does run forward, then we'll be able to like, fire on him. Yeah, yes. we'll just do it that way, guys. And let's just go into their turn. So yeah, he's going to get fired on here. But it's not going to kill him. Even with a couple shots. Stay still, you little shit. So she hit. He hit Hitman. Yeah, I think keeping this guy alive is going to cause us some serious issues, guys. Trying not to kill him, but... If he's going to get all of our people killed, then... It's obviously not worth it. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and have... We should probably have... Hitman fire on him first. Oh, he needs to reload. 
Okay, so that's three AP. That leaves them still with enough to fire, but probably not to hit anything. We could try. Is there anybody else that we can fire at? He's out of range. Good as gone, Ace. Because, yeah, that guy there is going to be the problem. Yeah, we actually did some damage to him. You want something? Yeah, see, I'm wondering if, like, you can't... What if we shot him in the leg? Watch me put this one down and just like do a leg shot. Job. There we go. And just slowed him down. So he can't move as quickly. And then from here, just, like, you know, try and remove our characters from the situation. Just try and get him out of here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hello. And then with uh Barry. I mean yeah, this guy's almost dead. You know what, let's go ahead and shoot him real quick. Using one AP. Let's see if that'll be enough to kill him. There we go. No, and then get him no, no, moving no, no. over here, start moving towards the building. And that way you can take Barry and then get him going like as far as he can here behind cover. Just trying to stay away from Pierre. So what we're going to want to do is just move all of our people as far away from Pierre here as possible. Are you sure there is any better than here? It's kind of ridiculous we got to do it this way, but it is what it is. Presently in attendance. Just trying to keep this guy alive. Since we promised we'd try at least. I'm pretty worried about Livewire. She does not have a lot of health. I'll just lose her. Alright, so she's coming over this way. Has anybody got any AP remaining? Looks like that's a no. So let's go enter turn and see what happens. Now we've slowed down here. And then there's the, the sniper up here who's definitely still a threat. Alright, so he fired on Hitman, and Hitman's almost dead. They're about to lose Hitman, just trying to keep this guy alive here. We could make him less accurate if we fired at his arm. Maybe I should have done that. Okay, it's too late now, but... Yeah, if we had fired on his arm, we could have made him less accurate there. Alright, so clearly Hitman should also... Get moving, since he is in an exposed position here. Yeah, I probably should have just killed him. I don't know. I'm going to lay down here. Uh, but yeah, he's... Yeah, we're going to end up losing our own guy. Since I'm trying to keep this dude alive here. here. Alright, so live wire. let's get her moving inside. Because yeah, the problem is, we've got a long way to go. Now you can just use that ladder there. I guess we can try and go up that way. Right, That'd probably be quicker. So we'll have her take the ladder while these guys are going up the stairs. There's the stairs all the way around here. Like Mother always says, if the tactical situation is fair, we'll have that guy go this way. He'll probably be fired on by here, actually. Maybe, maybe we can put him in an exposed position so that he'll be fired on instead. Could also Nope, we can't hit him anywhere. I was gonna say, we'd also go after a, I will do. an arm shot on him. Probably not the best gun to do it anyway. Well, I guess if you did the single shot, it'd be fine. Alright, so maybe we'll shoot at Barry instead, but probably not. We'll probably go after Hitman. Is there anybody else? There's still Fox here. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll just have her... Let me see if I can put her here. Just like watching me walk. Put it in the crouch, and then see if we can just go after an arm shot. Says so she he's out of range, so we need to know if we uh, if we fire at him that will hit the arm rather than something else or nothing. <laughs> she doesn't hit anything, does she? All right, so that's everybody. I just hope we don't lose somebody because of uh oh he did go after Barry. And he didn't hit him. Oh, he did hit him. So now we've been slowed. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Meltdown and have her go for an arm shot. See if we can't make him more inaccurate. So let's 
So let's go ahead and actually zoom in. All right, we'll try and shoot again, but oh, there we go. All right, so now he's more inaccurate. So that should help us out a lot. All right, so we need to get him out of here. And it looks like we can actually go through this way. So let's go ahead and do so. Sure thing. So get Hitman out of there since he's very close to dying. So maybe we won't lose anybody, I don't know. We'll have to see. And so he just keeps on going back and forth between the second floor and the third. Uh, let's actually move up, see if we can get up there. We cannot, so we can only get up to the ladder. So we're up to the ladder. Let's go ahead and have Grunty move up the stairs. See how high he can get. Can we get up to here. He's at the top of the stairs. And so now you have to take this ladder to get up there. So we're like slowly moving our way over towards him. So now let's go ahead and get... Oh, well he slowed, so he's gonna struggle to get anywhere. Okay, so what if we had him stand? No, that's not gonna help at all. And we have him crawl and then crawl over there. <laughs> Alright, so now Barry's in a bad position. Don't tease me. Alright, so he's still healthy. So he could like fire on his I mean I don't know that there'd really be any point on firing on him at this at this moment, since he already has an accurate penalty. But it says it's only till the end of his turn. Could always shoot him in the arm again, I suppose. You're probably not gonna hit him anyways. Watch this guy die. Yeah, we didn't hit him anyways. He's kinda wasting ammunition at this point. It's too far away. But I don't wanna let her get any closer because I don't want uh, him to be able to hit us easily. So yeah, trying to keep this guy alive. I always hate when you gotta keep somebody alive in a game. So he's gonna shoot at Meltdown. So she's been slowed now. Okay, so that's not good. And it almost looks like those uh, penalties for the slowing, yeah, those only last until the end of the turn. Okay, I was not aware of that. Uh, so now we know. So what we're gonna wanna do is probably go for an arm shot here. And we missed. Because I think that's the most useful way to go. Is uh, making him less accurate for the next turn. Rather than slowing him. Alright, so now he's more inaccurate. But we're also in an exposed position. so And no ability to really get out of here. We can move right here. I guess I could have laid down instead, but... Okay, yeah, she's standing up right now, so. He hopefully won't be able to kill her in this turn. But yeah, basically, we're in very vulnerable positions. This guy's no longer slowed, so let's go ahead and get him moved over to here. Moving, as of this moment. Live, wire. Live wire is gonna be going up the ladder. And it looks like she'll be able to go right up the ladder and shoot this guy. So maybe we can end it here, Enemy soldier. Looks like he is just or die. At the moment. So you know, I say like let's use all the AP and do the headshot. There we go. So now what happens? Because you've gotten, hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happens at this point. Let's go over here. Do you have to like take him down? Maybe get a chance after you bring his health down. Yeah, maybe we just need to like, uh... Hmm. Yeah, this is what we'll do, guys. You sure there is any better than here? I think we just need to take his health down. And then maybe it'll give you the option to like kill him or not. So maybe I've been doing this wrong the whole time. 
So can Grunty shoot ahead of him from here? He cannot. Let me see if we can go through the... We could probably fire at him from here. Not that we'd even hit him anyways. Like Maza always says, if the tactical situation is favorable, then seize the opportunity. Okay, so that's all of our AP. That's going to end our turn. I have my men, but I am still standing, and I will fight to the end. I think there's just one left, Ace. Yeah, so clearly, I was hoping like the end of the turn, and maybe then he gives up. But you see, he's not willing to give up. Okay, so yeah, this is obviously not the. It's not the way I thought it was. So yeah, you just kind of go up to him and shoot him. <laughs> Try not to kill him, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, the only thing I think of is, is if you get his health really low, but yeah, then you put Meltdown in a position where she might get killed. I guess we just got her, so. Yeah, let's put her here. Although it's not saying that she can shoot him from here. I'm pretty sure she can, right? Yeah, okay. You'd think so. Watch me put this one down. Right, we can only use the 4 AP. Okay, so we put her in a really bad position here. Because she can't hit any of these. So we'll just shoot his arm again. Not that inaccuracy is going to matter much when we're this close up. Uh, we can't go ahead and fire on him again. So just keep on going for the arm shot. Good job. Keep it up. Just gotta catch my breath. And so yeah, he's pretty wounded at this moment. We could have ran her, uh, ran her back as well, I suppose. Maybe I should have done that now that we did a little bit of damage. Too late now. Uh, we do have other characters who might be able to attack him, though. Though he is in the building, so let's move this guy out over here. So yeah, I wish I had known that that's how it worked. Obviously, you know, nothing to do about it at this point, but... He's not going to hit anything from here. Yeah, there's not really any uh, other way to do this than just go ahead and start moving back down the stairs, I think. Live wire. I don't think it's worth putting her in jeopardy at all. So probably just leave her where she's at. Yeah. Same thing with Hitman. I mean, he's probably not uh, gonna be attacked where he's at, so you just leave him there. What's on your mind? But Fox, she's in a position to attack him next turn. So let's go ahead and move her a little bit closer here. Looking for a good location. Nobody's more exposed than uh, than her, though, so it doesn't really matter. We can just go ahead and put her so out here. If he's going to shoot at anybody, he's going to shoot at her. You would think, anyways. All right, so hopefully next turn we can finish this up. What's he doing, like a melee attack or something? Oh, yep, he's going to take a machete to her. Huh. So he got his machete out, and that must have uh, taken up his turn or whatever. Don't tease me. So now I'm wondering, because I haven't are. seen the melee combat much, if there's any mechanic that represents... And since he's got that out, you'd want to move back. Fun. I'm going. And that'll also let other people fire. But yeah, to represent, uh, you know, where they can... I don't remember what they call it. Uh, the opportunity attacks, I suppose. You can see it doesn't, though. I wasn't sure. Where if you move away from a melee character, they can smack you. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for the torso shot. Oh, well, that did not do much damage. Not at all. I don't think it really matters, though. I mean, you could go for another arm shot, I suppose. Yeah, he did about as much damage. And then, yeah, just go for maybe a leg shot, just to try and slow him down. All right, uh, so he's not dead, but we've got all these other characters that can shoot at him. So let's have Fox fire at him. And let me see, do we just want to go for, I mean, you just don't do much damage to the, to the torso. So it makes sense to probably go for maybe a groin shot. We haven't done any groin shots yet. Yeah, why not? All right, so we hit him once. So let's Hello. try bringing Barry into it. Put him over here. And then we can bring Grunty 
about as close as he can get as well. Taking position. And I think that's it. Yeah, since you're keeping those two out of it. He's very close to being dead. He'll get to fire one more time. Meltdown here. Why is he not firing? Is he out of ammunition? I know changing the weapons costs AP. So maybe that's what's getting him. He keeps changing the weapon up. Yeah, interesting that he hasn't been firing. Okay, so yeah, I guess we'll uh, put him down now. Yeah, I'm, I'm avoiding headshots. Okay, so he surrendered. So now we can go uh, talk to him. Alright, so let's go and get everybody selected. And then go ahead and talk to him. Everybody moving over here. The whole crew. Do we have everybody? Seems like we're missing somebody. Oh, live wire. She had to go down the, la the uh, ladder there. Just make sure everybody's over here and then we'll go ahead and have a chat with them. Ceasefire mercenary. You have won. There is no shame in losing to stronger warriors. My life is in your hands. The Major has him back in his camp. Don't even think about trying to rescue him. On the mainland there is no other power but the Legion and no god but the Major himself. The Lord's light shines everywhere. Even into the dark and stinky hole where this Major hides. You may have bested me, but my life belongs to the Legion. I will not lie to you. I will report to the Major and he will probably order me to hunt you down and kill you. If you don't want that, you know what to do. Don't need to tell me how to do my job, dumbass. I can kill you whenever I want. It is not a big secret, but you won't learn it from me. Kill me if you will. I am no traitor. What if I kick you in the teeth? Just a few times. Or maybe a few dozen times. What? Mercy? To a beaten enemy? I, uh, I thank you, I guess. Perhaps we will meet again. But I can't promise not to fight you when the time comes. Any time, dumbass. So yeah, we didn't do all that work to not let him go. Although he's working, uh, walking perfectly fine for a guy who's almost dead. <laughs> Took that many bullets. But yeah, we didn't do all that work. I put out forth all that effort to try and keep him alive and then not let him live. Sure, boss is around. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I think there'll certainly be some consequences Let's there. We'll see if those are, are positive or negative consequences. Uh, so we should be able to get a bunch of guns from all these uh, dead bodies. A bunch of loot overall. Should help out our crew quite a bit. Uh, so we found an M14 here. So we'll give this gun to Grunty. That also uses 7.62 and then Meltdown can have the MP5. Uh, we also got the diamond shipment here. We cashed in for $12,000. So somebody's going to have to walk up there. We don't have to have the whole crew up that go all the way up there. Let's just have one of them. Go ahead and loot that guy. And then we'll see what else we can find here. We got a, a helmet. Okay. Uh, so we know that we already have one character with a helmet here. You know what? We should probably give the all the type of armor to our characters that have the least health to try and keep them alive. For you. So Livewire, we know she barely has any health. Her health is 57, so pretty low. So we want to give her any armor that we get. Yes. Because she just is not very durable. Uh, we need to turn this on so you can see everything see what the that there is to loot. Alright, so we got more stick grenades. So let's go in and make sure we're, we're giving these to specific characters. So let's go ahead and give this to who's often up close. I guess Meltdown we can have that. And then we'll also want to take those 7.62 rounds. Oh, there was something else up there. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I'm going. laughs> Alright, so she's going to have to walk all the way up there. We'll have a different character walk up there rather than making the yes. fox do that walk again. You just like watching me walk. 
Have her gather those herbs. Alright, so we got another rifle. So, I mean, you could go ahead and give that to... I mean, you want somebody who has decent marksman. A decent marksman rating. She's alright. But she already has that knife, and we definitely want her to carry the knife. I don't really think that's fitting. Let's we'll put it in a backpack for now. Get those herbs. We're moving. All right, is there anything over here on this side of things that needs to be looted? No. All right, so let's go ahead and have. There's something over there. Let's have him come over here. Start getting all this collected up. And salvage parts from this. And then have him get that. We got another AK-47. Okay, so let's go ahead and give that to Livewire. So I think uh, 7.62 rounds is going to be a problem. Uh, we did find a lens used for crafting advanced weapon components. So I'm take all that. Yeah. Uh, another AK-47 here. Does anybody not have a rifle? I feel like might want to have her have the AK. Instead of the MP5, although the problem, of course, is going to be rounds. You got a lot of the nine-millimeter rounds. Yeah, I, I think somebody needs to be using different rounds, and we need to take a look at you know which one of these are. We're just going to get these all put away here, guys. We need to look at uh, how everything looks in regards to its quality. I think I have found something. I'll do all that off camera so you guys don't have to watch all that. Let's just get this place looted so we can get off the map. Don't really need to cut that. Alright, so nothing else over here, so it looks like we're just going upstairs now. Yeah. Although I'm not seeing anything upstairs either. But you do have to find the things. So we got some intel. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, nice. We got some armor here. Okay, so live wire should probably get that. And we got some new 762 millimeter, some hollow point, some meds, and long distance relations. This article really hits the mark. Used through the item menu, single use, increases markmanship. Okay. So whose markmanship would we like to increase the most? Probably somebody who doesn't have very good, good markmanship. I'm thinking probably Fox. She's got those double peacemakers. So let's see how we do this. So the item menu. There we go. Hey, I'm getting better at this. All right, so that'll improve her marksmanship just by one. So not a huge change there when it goes up to hundred. I think it goes up to hundred. I'm not actually sure. I don't think there's anything else up here. We can look upstairs though. In the last uh, area. And just make sure. Oh, there's actually a room up here. You'd assume there'd be something up there. Probably don't need to bring the whole crew up here, but it's too late. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing in here. Okay, so the only thing left to loot is this guy, this goon. And then we'll be able to go ahead and leave the map. And it looks like we probably will not have time to do the create a character. We'll have to do that Hitman in the next episode. Let's see. But yeah, I wish I had known. Alright, so just another pistol here. Can you sell the guns? I'm not entirely sure if you can sell weapons. But yeah, I wish I had known that we just needed to get his health down. You know, there are a lot of games that do that. Where you have, all right, so we've taken over this area here. Uh, we know where you have somebody you have to keep alive, and then the way you do that is just you know, completely deplete all their health. But not all games do that. Some games, uh, you know, if you kill a character, they're just dead. Uh, so I wasn't sure how it worked. But now we know for the future, if we ever have a character that we need to leave, uh, leave alive, then all we got to do is get their health all the way down as if they're being killed. Now, I don't know if there are any... Uh, you know, exceptions to that, like if you blow them up, <laughs> I don't know if that's considered killing them, uh, it's hard to say. 
Uh, but yeah, we were able to take this over. Uh, we did not deplete any of the shields there by doing the little objectives that were available to make this easier. Though somebody reported to me in the comments that they did all the things you needed to do to get rid of the shields. And it was the exact same results as far as number of enemies go. That didn't actually reduce the number of enemies. I don't know if it reduced the quality of them at all. or I don't know what change it made. But he didn't post anything about any differences. He seemed to say that it was exactly the same. Uh, so that would be unfortunate if it doesn't have any effects. But yeah, what we'll definitely want to do is go ahead and do the create a character in the beginning of next episode and create ourselves a unique, well, I mean, as unique as we can do. It's, there's not a lot of options available as far as the way they look. Can't choose their name though, and they get to choose all their, their stats, their attributes, and their traits, and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, we'll be doing that next episode, and then we'll, we'll try and go here to this underground sector, uh, because it is part of one of the missions that we have, uh, where we got that mission to get the machine gun for Ernie. So we can try and do that. Uh, but yeah, we now have access to the boat cruise, and that's what allows you, I think we had that here, because we got the port. So yeah, we we'll probably have to go back to Ernie, actually, in order to leave here, since I think that's the only port on the island. Outpost under player control and cover fog of war in adjacent sectors. So that's the effect of that one So yeah, we have to go this way anyways So might as well stop off on over here try and go into the underground sector and then We'll go to Ernie and take a boat Over to the mainland. I'm not sure if there's any restrictions on where you can land You'd assume not. So there's just a small boat with a, with a small crew. You think you'd be able to land anywhere on the coastline but if you wanted to travel back, you'd have to have a port, so it might make sense to attack a port. Uh, this one has eight dudes. And we can't see over here, so we don't know the enemy forces that might be defending it. But yeah, I think it makes sense to attack a port so that you can leave if you need to. There's a mine here. Provide daily income based on loyalty to the nearest settlement. Currently, we're running through quite a bit of money at the moment. We've got 24,000. All right, so yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and start moving over to the port next episode. See if we can find anything in the underground sector after we have created our custom character. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.